This is a material editor tutorial on creating a mask opacity material for use as foliage. This is the May 2011 version of the Unreal Development Kit. My name is Jordan Ewing and I'm an art creation student with cohort 16 at the Guild Hall at SMU. Today is June 5th, 2011. And with that, let's get started. The first thing you want to do within UDK is open up the content browser. Once this is open, we want to click import down here at the bottom left. From here, you want to navigate to the .ase file that is associated with this tutorial. So right here, plant.ase, select open, and this is going to bring up an import dialog box. So within here is where you will set up all the initial names. So in the package name, we are going to name this plant tutorial. We're going to name the group Mesh, and we're going to need leave the name as Plant. At this point, click OK. And as you can see here, under New Packages, your package name Plant Tutorial has been created with a subgroup named Mesh, and your actual mes Mesh asset named Plant. At this point, we want to import the textures, so right-click on your tutorial, and click Import. Navigate to the textures, select them both, click Open. Same thing here, we leave the package, create a new subgroup since this is a different asset type, name it texture, and leave the names alone. Click OK on both of those dialog boxes. Once that's finished, you have both the subgroups mesh and texture with the assets loaded. With that done, we want to create the actual material. So go back up to the root, right click inside the content browser, and select new material. The group, material, and we are going to name the material plant underscore mat. Click OK. And that is going to open up the material editor and create the material for you here. Now the first thing we want to do is actually bring in our own mesh. Because as you can see here, kind of from the silhouette, it's just a geo primitive, which is the standard display inside the material editor for samples. So what you want to do here is go back to the content browser and select the static mesh within your package. Go back to the material editor and select this green button which is use selected static mesh. As you can see here by silhouette it's now no longer a geo primitive but our actual mesh that we've imported in. At this point we want to actually plug the textures in. So it's the same thing we did with the mesh. Go back to the content browser, select the first texture, which is the diffuse. Come back here and create a texture sample node. So right here, bring it in. And as you can see here, it has sampled the diffuse map. And literally, it's as easy as grabbing the RGB output and plugging it into the diffuse input on the material box. And there's the diffuse. Now in order to actually make these look like leaves and not just odd squares, we're going to take advantage of the alpha channel in our diffuse. So we're going to take this, the alpha channel output, and plug it into the opacity mask input on the material. Now immediately it doesn't change anything. So what you actually have to do is come down here to the material and change the blend mode from opaque to mask. Now right away, that recognizes the alpha channel and masks out the shapes of the leaves from those planes. It makes the surface look much more complicated than the underlying geometry actually is. However, if you notice, backface cooling is occurring and really shattering the look that we're trying to achieve here with foliage. So the other thing you want to do is check the two-sided box down here, and then UDK will actually render both sides of those planes and help make it look even better. Now at this point, we're going to do some polish. So we're going to add another texture sample node, but this time we're going to select the normal texture from the content browser and create another texture sample expression and select this RGB channel and plug it into the normal input. Now you can see a slight change that just occurred on the surface. However, to really help sell it, we're going to add specularity so it really shows off that new detail that's just been imported. Now in lieu of actually having a specular map, we're just going to create specularity for this material 
by using the diffuses green channel as well as a couple of expressions. So the first one we want to create is a multiply node. Next, we want to create a constant node. And we're going to set the constant node's value at 2. Now with that having been done, we want to take the green channel output from the diffuse, plug that into the multiplies A input, and take the constant we just created and plug that into B. With that being done, you can see that we now have a grayscale map created from those two inputs, and we're going to take this and plug that into the material specular channel. Now right away, you can see a nice shine on the leaves. However, to really tighten it up, we're going to actually add specular power. This is also known as a gloss map in some cases, but again, this is not a texture that we have for this example. So we are going to create it by simply using another constant node. So again, new constant expression. This time, however, we're going to change the value to 60. And we will drag that into the specular power. Now as you can see that really tightened the highlight up and it helps it so that that specular is not so diffused across the overall surface. So with that being done, this plant foliage opacity mask material is now complete. So the last steps are to save the material by checking on this green checkbox in the top left corner of the material editor window. Close out of the material editor and the last step is to save your package. So right click on the package, click save, direct it to wherever you want to save it, save it as plant tutorial, click save, and you have now created an opacity mask material for use as foliage.